All right, so uh, this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 13th to April 19th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well um, if you want to learn tarot and um, you like the way I do it uh, you can sign up for my online classes live online tarot classes uh, in which for starters I'm going to explain you the major arcana in terms of career in terms of relationship in a way how to look at them in a positive or in a negative uh, way depending on how they fall into the dedicated spread that um, I'm using for my private readings and for the class as well so that being set aside moving to the first card of the reading here which stands as the topic of your week Sagittarius that is to be the seven of pentacles followed by the next one which stands for the uh, energies that are feeding and supporting the topic here we do have a huge one of the ace of pentacles then it is the challenge that you will have to overcome throughout uh, the week. That is the challenge of the two of uh, cups. Afterwards, uh, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can, can enjoy or you get to enjoy throughout uh, the week itself. That is to be the seven of swords. <clears throat> then it is the uh, impression that you are leaving to the people around. That will be the hermit. And the last one, which is the guidance here, that will be the devil. I'm no surprise. I wouldn't expect any other card to fall here as a guidance. So uh, for you, Sagittarius, this week, many people are going to call selfish. OK, but you should not let anybody to tell you that uh, because uh, pretty much in this week for one or many enterprises, your time had came. And while everybody else around was growing, you know, and they were using, you know, their opportunities, nobody asked you for your opportunities. And now as you do have your opportunity, because this is what the uh, energy is pointing here of the Ace of Pentacles, you, like I said, you shouldn't allow anybody to tell you that you don't have to go for it or you don't have to or you should not participate into it. So what is the Ace of Pentacles in its general sense and especially when it comes to energy? Well, it gives you the um, the energies are, are aligning the circumstances in a such way that now you are allowed to further a goal which came through a, a, a rare opportunity or you have the rare opportunity to further on an important goal of yours or important goals of yours okay but that is the practical interpretation of the ace of pentacles which gives you um, a successful business endeavor successful business maneuvers right a, 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 a har harmonious relationships and etc etc and uh, in the more uh, spiritual way uh, the ace of pentacles these energies are going to um, bless you if you if you will with exhilaration content joy and for some of you as well ecstasies uh, ecstasy <laughs> ecstasies ecstasy so uh this uh, this week is going to be very happy week for you it's, it looks like the things are going to grow little by little slow slowly but steadily um everything into your environment with the energies of the of the ace of pentacles is going to grow to a point where you are going to have that rare opportunity like i said to further your goal and that leads us to the uh situation itself which is the seven of pentacles and with uh, this particular situation it's important to allow the natural unfoldment of thing of things to take place um, what I am trying to say here is that when the when the week starts and you get to enjoy those energies, you will see, like I said, that your business is becoming a little bit more successful. You know, your relationship as well is stabilizing and it is becoming harmonious and etc. etc. And uh, that is the natural course of events, right? But people tend to be impatient and people tend to force those things to become better and better. If, uh, if that can happen right now in this very moment, the better. 
but uh, that's not the case here that we do have with those two cards. Seven of Pentacles urges you to um, catch up your breath for a little while, okay? Just be inactive so, so you can see uh, how those uh, enterprises are developing and you uh, therefore by you doing so you're to see what it takes you know to bring them to their very end or to manifest them in its uh, their full completion and uh, with this stance of you just observing rather than you know jumping into it uh, incorporating a hectic and very frantic uh, uh, behavior into your relationships and into your career as well um, you are first of all is going to um, save some unnecessary investments in terms of money in terms of time in terms of emotions as well and also you will be able to capitalize on important events which are yet to happen into those enterprises because like said the ace of pentacles isn't about um, that success comes right now. It is about that success is growing, so it is yet developing. And therefore, you shouldn't throw everything you got into it in its initial state. And when more important circumstances or more important enterprises arises on the horizon, you have nothing to offer them. So do not overkill the situation is what those couple of cards are pointing. But there is no mistaking it here in the start of the week. You should kind of like start seeing how everything grows little by little you know slowly but steadily hard push hard push but it develops and uh, that is exactly what is going to give you once again the opportunity to further your goal career wise or relationship wise to uh, allow you to save your marriage for example to save your relationship or to expand on your relationship on your marriage as well to become more successful business-wise, to find a good job and etc. etc. So, but only thing that it is asked from you is to be patient, to observe, you know, what is the best course of action, if you will, uh, how best you can invest your resources as time, efforts, money, and, and so on and so forth. So you do not waste them. And when the important moment came about, you don't have what to offer for it. So that uh, leads us to the next one, which uh, refers to the uh, challenges. And I said you shouldn't allow anybody to tell you other way around. And that is the challenge of the Two of Cups. Because um, not everybody is going to be happy that now you do have the opportunity. All right. And um, simply said, with the, two, uh, with the Two of Cups, it will be challenging to maintain um, a good terms with the majority of the people around. And um, that is kind of understandable because now you're pushing your own goal and therefore these people, they can't expect the usual incorporation of your well-being or of yourself into their endeavors, right? So, and that being said, you could um, see how people start becoming mad at you, you know, how people are, um, seemingly starts to lack a sense of uh, of reliability into you but that is a, a false sense of reliability and false sense of, of trust if you will it is because uh, they, they show it only when you follow their goal they do not show it when you want to follow your goal and uh, however uh, what the card points is, is that because you right now are deviating paths in a certain in a some in some way to a certain extent was i was trying to say that should not be a prerequisite to uh, break terms okay you can still maintain a good relationships a good terms with these people and that will be the struggle for you to do unfortunately so that moves us to the next one which represents the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy that is the seven of uh, swords. So the only gift and blessing that the seven, well, few gifts and blessings, but the most important one, it is that uh, you are pretty much going to follow your own agenda. There is no other way to look at the card here. As you can observe, the person uh, abandons the war camp behind and identifying that that is not his war to lead. And that war does not give any benefits to the person, therefore takes away what he deserves or what have been owned for the war effort he put it in and walks away to follow his own personal, private, if you will, selfish goal. Okay. So that being said, you are to enjoy to see that uh, actually you have the balls to show strong backbone, to show 
um, or to step for your own personal rights here, to say no when it's needed to some to someone or to something. And the best thing about this card in terms of gifts and blessings, it is that you will not going to be deceived. You will take any measures whatsoever so you do not get yourself once again deceived by some by somebody but the biggest danger is to get self-deceived to overestimate yourself or to underestimate the um the endeavor which is going to be big as we saw here and overkill it in its initial state so what is going to be the impression of the people around uh we do have the hermit so people seeing you as someone who is following their own substantial thing their own goal and their own agenda being wise and intelligent this time around identifying not what's not so uh, uh, what is best for the world and for the others or rather like uh, a person who withdraws from the ideas of the world and ideas from the other uh, and the others and identifies what is the light that shines for them into the darkness so you can take it that way that you are on a uh, uh, a crossroads uh, of many tunnels that are dark and you find out which tunnel holds the light at the end of it for you that is doesn't necessarily will hold the light for somebody that is accompanying you um but uh, with the hermits uh, usually there are very few to applaud you for that decision what i mean is that your followers or your fellowship is going to shrink and that is the point where you understand who is there because they love you and who is there because they just have a use of you and the final one that we do have it is the guidance that Taro is offering and uh, i said there is uh, I, I expected that card to come up with uh, the reading is because the devil tells you that you have to identify um, what your hungers are and what your and where your hungers lie. You know, hung, you can be hungry for money, you can be hungry for power, you can be hungry for love. The devil tells you that you can satiate that hunger. Okay, uh, up until now, the the hunger was insa was insatiable hunger, but now you get to satisfy it. However, you have to start thinking for yourself because this is what the devil is all about. Your personal needs, your personal instinct, instincts, your personal power. All right. And um, here I'm going to say, uh, say it a little bit in, in a philosophical way that everybody wants to be bright, to, to, to spring and radiate with life. And that life comes from the very bottom of the soul right but what is what what defines the soul if it is not the flame within that that burns for life itself and the fuel of this flame it is our needs you know we 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 satisfy our needs and we are joyful we we like life and we face life in all of its best forms and what happens if you stop feeding the flame well then the flame fades and as the flame fades gloom spreads and at the end only dark will remain so you don't want your life to be dark right you want to be bright and in order to be bright the devil says this time around you do the things your way you go for what you want for where your hungers hungers hunger uh, hunger lies because you do have the power to force its circumstances and you should care less what anybody else thinks or needs, in fact. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Powerful one. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below. Um, you're going to find my uh, website from which you can purchase such and as well there you're going to see a, a tarot class sections uh, i am offering a, a online live tarot classes uh, and for starters in there in them i'm gonna teach you or rather like explain you the um, major arcanas for starters how to read them in terms of career in terms of relationship in a positive in a positive and in a negative um <clears throat> Position into the dedicated spread I chose that spread can serve for you reading only with major arcanas as well so at the end of the course you're going to be set to go to perform your own readings um, and uh, now stay safe and hopefully we're going to see each other next time until then bye